Hi, Clint Flower from Automate Training. Are you really looking after your customer's needs when servicing their vehicle? Are you testing the cooling system properly or just checking levels? Did you know that performing a few simple checks as part of routine vehicle maintenance will help enable you keep the vehicle's cooling system healthy and in top shape? I'll show you this and more in our next technical training module. Here is a little taste of engine coolant testing. As the additives break down, so too does the coolant's ability to fight electrolysis. This occurs because the coolant is turning acidic. The higher the acidity level in the liquid, the more it acts like an electrolyte, just like what you would find in a lead acid battery. The electrolyte solution allows electrons to move from one metal plate, like an aluminium water pump, to another plate, which could be the engine block. As these electrons move, they remove some of the anode or water pump material and place it on the cathode or engine block. And this is the result, electrolysis. The movement of electrons causes a voltage potential between the two electrodes. So, this means we can use the meter to check the coolant condition by testing for voltage in the coolant. The first thing we need to do is place the red meter lead in the radiator neck with the tip submerged in the coolant. Don't allow the tip to touch the radiator core, or if it's constructed from copper or brass, the filler neck as well. Attach the black lead to a known ground, either the engine block or battery negative terminal. Turn the meter to millivolts. A reading above 300 will indicate that the coolant is too acidic and needs replacing, or we have stray voltage present due to poor engine and chassis grounds. To find out more and access the most advanced technical training available, visit our website and unlock your automotive potential today.